yeah i welcome you back to structures pro we are about to take on another project it's a real project a seven story building so we are going to design it in this channel from beginning to end so i will urge you to stay glued because i have so much for you okay i also have a a, a an ultimate um star pro tutorial which has a pre-recorded videos for 12 days to just take you 12 days to to learn star pro I've, i i packaged it and arranged it for just 12 days every day each day has a particular video to it so it's a pre-recorded video so if you want to get that particular uh, tutorial package the link is in the description just click the description follow the link and get and, and, and procure it it's not uh, expensive for well, so as you are going through the the training you can also be contacting me on whatsapp my, my whatsapp contact is also in the description so that we have a seamless uh, uh, a seamless learning so i will be with you i will guide you i have so many uh, uh, bonus packages included in that uh, in that video like uh, we designed the real life uh, duplex you know everything about the duplex was designed we also did a steel structure the tutorial video covers the training covers both steel and concrete we designing concrete with rcdc software which is also part of uh, start pro but it's a different software but embedded inside start pro we also did foundation design so yeah it's not something you're going to miss you don't want to miss it if you want to be very strong and sound and build your build up your confidence in the usage of start pro that course is for you just get it i'm going to be with you you're going to be talking even if you need the the one-on-one -on -one discussion on a particular challenge you're having during the training i'm i'm, I'm always available you can do a one-on-one -on -one. you can do it one-on-one -on -one, you know, through any means that we can find easy for us to use yeah, be it a google video or teams meeting or even if it is wasa anything so just get it and we talk thank you very much okay i'm also gonna gonna add the link to this drawing in the in the description so it's going to be free just download it for free for your practice so as i'm doing the design you should be following me step by step so the link is going to be my 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 in the description so just click the link and download it. It's free of charge. The link to this actual drawing is free of charge. I just I'm, I'm just giving it to you for you to be able to follow up with this design. Yeah, it's different from the the package I have for my 12 days start pro training. That one is different. It's also in the description. So if you need to have the training, it's also there. Everything is there. But this one, this particular one, is free for you to just be able to follow up this uh, this design. It's just for you. So this is the architectural drawing. I just got the architectural drawing from the architect. So let's look at what we have here. Okay. So okay, this one is the is the ground floor. This is the ground floor. And okay, this is looking like a car park. So the ground floor is being used for car park. So you see the structure is like this. Okay. You have a courtyard here at that point. You have three column positions as uh, um, advised by the architect. So okay, we have a combination of a circular column and the rectangular column. Okay, that's good. Of course, you do the the architect can put any type of column he wants, but it is the responsibility of the structural engineer to actually determine column positions and the sizes yeah the architect is uh, his main job is to you know do a very fine uh, looking structure they are more interested in the aesthetics of the building you know to make it look fine and look beautiful but the responsibility of the structural engineer is to you know determine the structural integrity of that uh, that building to make sure the building has strength and can stand the test of time and uh, the fit for purpose that's the structural engineer so so uh, irrespective of where the positions of the columns are here we can as well as structural engineer 
you know, change some positions or include more columns depending on the span. So that's what we'll be doing next class. So we are going to be checking the spacing between uh, column to column and see if we, we can do any modification without changing the aesthetics of the building. Because when you change the aesthetics of the building, you begin to have issues with the architects, you know. So we cannot use our own market to spoil another person's market. <laughs> Yeah, so this is looking, it's just the car park, yes, but the car park also have a lot of things. You can see the uh, the, 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 the restroom here. And this is not supposed to be to toilet and bath. You know, that, I don't think that should be bath. Uh, people can take the, okay, yes, I think, yeah. So anyway, yes, this is it. Somebody can actually take their bath here. Then you can, okay, that's, that's fine. Yes, okay, a lot of things, multiple multiple services, so I don't know what they will be doing here, services, okay, maybe they will have the security house, somebody that will be uh, in charge of this, their car parking, and maybe in charge of the gates, something like that, then here is the staircase, you know, you climb from this this place, from one to three to, to this place, that will get you into this floor. So this one is a second floor to seventh floor. Like I told you, is a is a, a, a seven story building. Okay, but um, some persons can call this six story building. Well, you know, if you are using a software and you want the software to give you exactly what you have in this drawing, you have to see it as a seven story building because the software considers the ground floor as one of the floors. You can't eliminate it as one of the floors. Okay, so and if you look at what the architect has done here, he, he called the, the, the ground floor here first floor, and we now have a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Okay, so this is supposed to be okay, if this is first floor, the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven. Yes, it's seven floors. So this one is the roof, yeah. And if you look at it from this side, this is the roof. Actually, it is the roof. So it's, it's not supposed to be counted as one of the floors, even though the uh, uh, the roof is concrete slab, yeah. But it doesn't matter. You can we can you can just call it as one of the floors. It's not it's not recognized as one of the floors. But you are going to design it as a slab, of course. You know what? Normally, roof is roof. It's not called or uh, addressed as floor. Okay, let's see what we have inside this uh, this building. So this one is from second to cell, from second floor to seventh floor. So it means they are the same, all the floors. Of course, if you look at the the multi multi family house, so it is a family house where all the floors are the same. Maybe a family of uh, of of seven or eight or seven, you know, so they share the floors to themselves. The, the the first we have the, the this floor and this one will take up the other floor and at all the floors you have the same features you have the same number of rooms have everything the same so that's why it is a family sort of settings okay now so when you climb up from that stair from this other ground level you'll be able to land here so from here you can access other places from here you enter this place so this is a living room. That's what some people call parlor or sitting or sitting room. So you you can see this the 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 the, the, the there, the sitting and the man sitting there already. That's the work of the architect. They will give you the real picture of the building. Everything this is furniture, furniture is there, furniture drawing is there. I can see the human being there, the table. Everything does their work to make it look beautiful and bring the picture very close to the client, so the client will feel, you know, the the, the aesthetic, feel the beauty of the of what he wants to invest his money on. So this is the sitting room, okay. So inside the sitting room, someone can still go to this place, to so the toilet. So you don't need to enter into in, inside the building before you can ease yourself if you are a visitor. Which is a very wonderful setting. So this is dining room for for food, you know, drinks like that. So after dining room, this one is bedroom. I 
don't think this is not supposed to be bedroom it should be a mistake from the this should be a mistake from the architect it's supposed to be kitchen so it must have been an oversight from him kitchen yep so that's that so when you cook here of course cook here bring it to the dining that's that then from here this one is bedroom of course you see that's why I, I noticed this should be an error they normally put bed inside the bedroom for architects yeah this is bedroom that's one bed this is the number one bed so here at the back here is laundry okay and that place should also be open sort of so that you can you can see what is happening outside from there so laundry these are the laundry machines you can wash and dry maybe it, one will be for washing the other one for drying just wash and dry okay then this is bedroom one bedroom this is another bedroom so these two bed this floor you have two bedrooms here okay another bedroom and this bedroom this particular one is inch it has uh, its own toilet and bath yeah this guy it should be wardrobe okay why this one also has does this one does not have a toilet and bath okay okay so up from there we have study or studio room you can call it study room okay yeah okay so here we just have two bedrooms yeah so it's a two bedroom flat so we have the same at the second floor third floor fifth floor sixth and seventh floor so this is the rooftop the roof uh, the roof uh, level okay so but you see that we still have another structure here on the roof it, it is bedroom yeah we have another bedroom here on the roof and that side again we have this place where um we have tank elevated water tank this is this water tank i think uh, it's supposed to be here this, this is where it's standing water tank uh -huh. so so this is a special structure we are going to also uh, consider the the weight of this tank and the weight of the content water content inside it and apply it on this floor so um we are going to design this structure like i told you i just collected this architectural drawing from the architect to design for my client so i'm going to do the design here in my youtube channel i'm going to uh, do every step um here in the I'll demonstrate every step here in this channel okay let us look at uh, section okay the first one is elevation the uh, front elevation this approach view so if you are looking at the structure from the front this is the front elevation the front side so if you are if you're looking at it from here and then for for this ground level this is what you see you see all these walls and the gates here the gates yes that's what you see so that means the the car park is closed is a very secure place so every occupant of this building We'll pack their car inside and it's going to be locked as you see it's gated so it's going to be locked so it's very secure so if you have an apartment in this kind of settings you are very 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 secured so you pack your car inside and they, they lock the gate nobody has access to come inside except the occupants or visitors that are coming in so now after that uh, um, the second uh, the second to seventh floor floors you have all this so these are the second seven floors and the, if you check the height in start pro modeling um, dimensions to beam to beam is center to center so here we have 2.6 if you look at this from this top to top of beam so if you that's that's, that's the same thing as center to center of beam so the height of each level is 2.6 meters this drawing is in meters so 2.6 meters we normally we used to have three meters or something you know but here in this case is 2.6 meters so we are going to use 2.6 meters for this particular structure so same thing for all the levels to you until you get to the, the seventh level yeah, where you have the, the roof so let's look at the, the the sections so we have section a section in this is section a cutting across the ground level the, all the levels and the roof so this is section a this is that's the parker park you know 
this is it cutting through the the bedroom the dining the toilet the same thing till to the top okay now this is the section a so when you look at section b section b is uh, this way yeah now the same section b section b so this is section b cutting that way so this is a the first the ground level has the uh, that laundry is it there i think okay you know it's not it's, it's courtyard there yeah? so that courtyard uh, did not continue yeah it stopped after the ground level so the other ones now nah, are laundry yeah okay so that's that so the ground level is different because of this ex extension while other levels are the same till they get to the final level we will not have the uh, staircase and the uh, and uh, uh, another room there which has water tank and that floor okay let's see um section c section c is also going to be similar to section b which is uh, this one okay so we are going to be designing this in our in our youtube in my youtube channel so i will just like i said just stay glued we have so many in store for you we are going to be um learning a whole lot of things yeah so i at this point if you have not subscribed to my channel i will i will i will, I will beg you to just quickly do that and just give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up it helps to it helps my video to go viral just give me a thumbs up please just do that just right away so that this video can go viral and people will get to know about my my content and what i i do in my youtube channel okay you can also share with your friends and well wishers and colleagues in the office thank you very much and stay tuned